You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm there, Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us. Without having an army to this. Walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. <laughs> Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think. For a second, the Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, at 
the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the Army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I guess so. We have to stick together. Now more than ever. Alone, they'll pick us off. We wouldn't last five minutes out there. Not you, not me, not any of us. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right, let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. You mind the horses? I need to smoke. You think control. I am the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. Come on, Arthur. Yeah, I think 
this up, but there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Come on, let's get them out of here. Oh, go on. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? <laughs> Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. 
Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Been too long, girl. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton Patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So, like you were saying before. The pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay, let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and... I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show.
I'm doing. Uh, okay. I don't see any more. All right. Oh, oh that was close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with a moment. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. Whoa. So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him. But my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is it? 
is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Okay, let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off? I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation and... This ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead. But the views are beautiful from up here. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Well, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. 
I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. You were saying before. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. You're going the wrong way. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that. You don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Okay. Let's continue on. What reason would they have? Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. I see no end to any of this.
There's some whiskey here. Please, come look at this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. Any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they... You said you were going to look for the Chinumpa. If you could do this for me, I would very much appreciate it. Yep. Yep.
Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Kind of diseases? No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, you must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay, well... Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. 
He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Come on.
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. <laughs> 